they're not going to be as focused to um actually do as much as they can and, and as they should to teach the students that are in their physical classroom not only that the pay differentiation that they're going to be experienced is going to further motivate them to not want to be in a classroom with the jamaicans hi guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're oldie but goodie thank you for staying tuned to your girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about jamaican teachers being wanted to tutor u.s kids online especially with the whole covid19 situation and it says Washington DC Community Scholar Inc., a United States based nonprofit organization, is seeking to recruit Jamaican teachers to tutor US students online. Although the main aim of the initiative is to increase the test scores of those US based students, Executive Director Robert Robert Stey Cry says the project is poised to benefit both groups. Recruiting teachers from Jamaica is a strategy designed to help communities both in Jamaica and in the United States, he said. It is against his background that the Washington-based organization sought the assistance of Jamaican ambassadors to the United States, Audrey Marks, in securing suitable Jamaican teachers for the program. This culture exchange will pay dividends in many ways for students, the Jamaican-based teachers alike, including the increased focus on individual academics and a boost to students' confidence levels. Students will get individualized attention needed for their learning style. Students are not placed into grades. Rather, students are met with where they are academically and increase self-confidence students don't have to complete for attention or to be embarrassed to ask questions he said that's amazing in addition parents will receive frequent updates on students progress unlike at most schools where there are only two teacher conferences per year he said that there are also long-term benefits for the wider communities because teachers will be interacting with students from different backgrounds they will be able to take those experience back to their classrooms in jamaica to add to their academic experience the ability to work remotely presents an economic opportunity for teachers in jamaica especially with limitations the pandemic place on in-person interactions he said this is a unique opportunity for students and teachers alike it resolves key issues in modern education that tend to leave some students behind. Importantly, parents who decide to not send their kids to school in the 2021 school year can be assured of a solid education during the pandemic. Their children will get individualized attention that traditional public school and private schools simply cannot provide, he said. Ambassador Mark shared that we support this initiative as a model of collaboration that is very fitting for the current virtual lifestyle environment while creating a socio-economic opportunity in our education industry utilizing technology and the well-known enterprise of Jamaican educators. He said the effort was created to address the achievement gap between black and white students that persist within the United States. He continued, we believe that building a community around each student will promote a culture of learning, which in turn creates a sustainable environment where students can grow academically. Our target groups are second, second through eighth grade with maths and English being our primary topics. We will add additional subjects including geography, science, history, and music in the new school year to promote a more a more rounded experience for students and i'm sorry thinking here kai i'm in the room and he's with his dad and he likes to come in the room but i'm doing videos anyways um we choose these grade levels because divergence of academic proficiency begins preliminary in elementary school and widens in subsequent grades grades in addition a mix of volunteers and paid staff is used to tutor individual students and small groups he pointed out he said
said that students they're not going to be as focused to um actually do as much as they can and as they should to teach the students that are in their physical classroom not only that the pay differentiation that they're going to be experienced is going to further motivate them to not want to be in a classroom with jamaican students but do their job virtually because they're probably going to be getting paid than what the average jamaican teacher would be getting paid so i'm a bit on the fence with this i see the benefits of both sides and i see the negatives of both sides but as me as a jamaican parent in the united states for my child to actually have an opportunity like that to get the same kind of teaching that I did would be amazing because when I came over here, I was far advanced um, than what they expected from a third world country. I had to be placed in all honors courses within the three months of coming over here. So it would be an amazing opportunity, but I feel like it's also brain draining in Jamaica and all the really great things that we have about that country what are your thoughts in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below do you think it's a great opportunity do you think it's going to make the teachers not want to teach physically in jamaica anymore do you think that they're brain draining the country by doing this what are all your thoughts don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl and i'll see you in the next one deuces